Today we're diving into a vitamin that doesn't always get the spotlight, but is absolutely essential, vitamin K. By the end of this video, you'll know why it's so important and how to make sure you're getting enough. Welcome back, I'm Dr. Maria Zizian, a board-certified general surgeon and IFM-certified functional medicine physician. So let's move to fact one. Vitamin K comes in two main forms. Let's start with the basics, actually. Vitamin K isn't just one vitamin. It's a group of fat-soluble vitamins. The two most common forms are K1 and K2. K1, also called phylloquinone, is found in leafy green vegetables like kale, spinach, and broccoli. It is what most people think when they hear vitamin K. K2, or menoquinone, is lesser known but equally important. It is found in fermented foods like natto, a traditional Japanese dish, aged cheese, and some animal products. Even better, your gut bacteria can produce small amounts of K2, helping to keep you healthy. Fact 2. Vitamin K is essential for blood clotting. One of vitamin K's most famous roles is in blood clotting. When you get a cut or injury, your body activates a process called the clotting cascade to stop the bleeding. Vitamin K is essential for producing the proteins that make this happen. Without enough vitamin K, your blood wouldn't clot properly, and even minor injuries could turn into serious bleeding issues. That's why it's often called the coagulation vitamin. In fact, the K in vitamin K comes from the German word coagulation, and that makes sense because it starts with K in German. Fact three, it supports bone health. Did you know that vitamin K plays a major role in keeping your bones strong? It works by activating a protein called osteocalcin, which binds calcium to your bone matrix. Without enough vitamin K, your bones become weak and brittle over time, increasing your risk of fractures and osteoporosis. Some studies even suggest that vitamin K2 is more effective than K1 in improving bone density, especially in older adults. If you want to maintain strong, healthy bones, don't overlook this powerhouse vitamin. Fact four, but before we move on, if you are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos on similar fascinating medical topics in functional medicine, the latest medical research, skin issues, and more. So fact four, vitamin K deficiency is actually rare, but it happens. Here's some good news. Vitamin K deficiency is pretty rare in healthy adults because it's widely available in foods and your body is great in recycling it. However, certain conditions can make it harder to absorb, such as Crohn's disease, celiac disease, or chronic liver disease. Long-term use of antibiotics can also kill off the good bacteria in your gut that produce vitamin K2. And symptoms of deficiency include easy bruising, bleeding, um, like bleeding gums, for example, or even nosebleed. If you suspect that you're not getting enough, please consult with your practitioner, with your PCP. Fact five. Newborns need extra vitamin K. Here's a fascinating fact about newborns. They're born with very low levels of vitamin K. That's because vitamin K doesn't pass easily through the placenta during pregnancy, and breast milk isn't a significant source either. To prevent a rare but serious condition called vitamin K deficiency bleeding, newborns are given a vitamin K shot right uh, after birth. This simple injection ensures their blood clot can, uh, their blood can clot properly and protects them during these crucial early days of life. Fact six, vitamin K2 may protect your heart. Vitamin K2 does more than just strengthen your bones. It's also a key player in heart health. K2 activates proteins that prevent calcium from building up in your arteries. This helps keep your blood vessels flexible and reduces the risk of conditions like atherosclerosis, which can lead to heart attacks or strokes. Research has shown that people with higher intakes of K2 have better cardiovascular health. So if you're looking to protect your heart, consider adding more K2-rich foods to your diet, like fermented cheese, for example. Fact seven, vitamin K interacts with warfarin, 
and other blood thinners. If you are taking blood thinners like warfarin, and you've probably heard about the need to watch your vitamin K intake, you may know that warfarin, um, under its brand name, actually Coumadin, warfarin works by blocking vitamin K, which slows down the clotting process. This is helpful for preventing blood clots, but means that you need to keep your vitamin K intake consistent. Sudden increases or decreases in vitamin K can affect how your medication works. It's a very delicate balance, so always consult with your doctor or dietitian to manage this safely. Fact 8. Vitamin K works hand-in-hand hand with vitamin D. Did you know that vitamin K and vitamin D are like best friends? They work together to regulate calcium in your body. Vitamin D increases calcium absorption in your gut, while vitamin K ensures that calcium goes to the right places, like your bones, and not to soft tissues where it can cause problems. This partnership is crucial for maintaining healthy bones and preventing conditions like calcifications in your arteries. We don't want that. For optimal health, make sure that you're getting enough of both of these vitamins. Fact 9. Vitamin K is fat-soluble, so pair it with healthy fats. Vitamin K is a fat-soluble vitamin, which means it's absorbed more efficiently when eaten with dietary fats. That's why it's a great idea to drizzle a little bit of olive oil over your spinach salad or pair it with steamed broccoli with a little avocado. Healthy fats not only enhance vitamin K absorption, but also add delicious flavor to your meals. So don't skip the fats. They're part of the equation for better nutrition. Fact 10. Vitamin K may have anti-cancer properties. Finally, emerging research suggests that vitamin K, especially K2 again, may have anti-cancer properties. Studies have shown that it can regulate cell growth and promote apoptosis or programmed cell deaths in certain cancer cells. This has been observed in cancers like liver and prostate cancers. While more research is needed, it's exciting to think about vitamin K's potential beyond its traditional roles. Imagine a nutrient that protects your blood, bones, heart, and possibly even fights cancer. So lastly, I have a little bonus for you. The latest research invol involving vitamin K. Researchers in China conducted a study to see if vitamin K could help with nocturnal leg cramps, painful cramps in the legs that happened at night, especially in older adults. 199 people aged 65 and older who had at least two leg cramps per week participated. For eight weeks, half of the participants took vitamin K daily, while the other half took a placebo. Researchers measured how often the cramps occurred each week, how long they lasted, and how severe they were. The results were that those taking vitamin K had fewer cramps per week and the cramps were less painful and shorter in duration compared to the placebo group. No side effects from vitamin K were found, showing it's safe to use. Vitamin K supplementation is simple, effective, and may be considered a way to reduce nighttime leg cramps in older adults. But please, as always, check with your PCP, with your doctor, with your provider before starting supplementation with vitamin K. So there you have it. 10 reasons and a bonus why vitamin K deserves a spot on your radar. It's more than just a clotting vitamin. It's a multitasking powerhouse. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more health tips, and share your thoughts in the comments. What, if, what is your favorite way, for example, to get vitamin K into your diet? What is your favorite food? Let me know. Until next time, stay healthy and stay informed. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.